Hey guys and very welcome. I am working with my balance lead to my ID3 battery that I am using to my house for solar storage and uh, I still don't have any BMS for it so I have to measure all the cells manually and uh, yeah it takes some time so uh, I was looking on AliExpress and also eBay to see if I find some kind of some kind of cell monitoring system and yes there is some systems out there but they were pretty expensive so I was thinking there for a while and uh, then it hit me that why don't buy a smart BMS and then connect everything to the BMS and connect the BMS to my phone then I just can take a screenshot on one module connect it to the next one take a screenshot on that and so on. I only have to do that nine times instead of 108 times. So yeah, here I am in my Dolly BMS and with my balance leads. So now I just will resolder everything. Uh, you might uh, have seen my other videos when I am measuring the cell voltage. Then I am using this one here. So now I am going to remove this and uh, this socket here will fit into my module and later on this will be into my BMS here. So now I just have to do all the soldering and uh, then see if everything is correct connected after that. I am also writing everything down because some of you guys have asked me which pins that you are going to use when you connect this to your module. So I am going to uh, write down everything and uh, later on I will share that with you. Here it is guys, ready to be tested. But sadly it's raining outside and it is going to rain for a couple of days now. So uh, I think that I have to buy some kind of tent before I open this battery up. Alright, it's time to open this battery up, but first I will turn off the inverter and the shift to grid power only. So let's go down in the basement and let's do that. So here are my inverter and uh, you can see that we, uh, at the moment we have 424 volts and we are pulling 270 watts out from it. And I am uh, going to turn this off just by long pressing this enter button. Do you want to shut down the device? Yes. So now we just are uh, taking power from the grid and this blue LED light uh, are blinking to indicate that. And then I will also turn off the power from my battery like so so now 
I don't have any connection between my inverter here and my battery out in the garden. So now it's uh, time to open it up. All right, here we go. And now I just will check so I don't have any isolation problems. So we are uh, we just uh, measured the main positive there. So now we are going to measure the main negative that's just fine i know know that i don't have any isolation problems in the battery so that's good then we are going to divide the voltage by remove this bus bar up here Like so. So here are the balance leads that I just have created and here are the BMS. So I will just connect this to my BMS here like so and I of course have checked everything so the cells are uh, connected in the right order. So we have the first one at the most negative here. So now it's just to connect it to the modules. And then I will see the values in my phone. So hopefully <laughs> nothing breaks here. So here we go with the first module. Let's see what I will find in the phone here. So now I just will go through all the modules and take a screenshot of them. All the cells are now measured. And I have to say that this worked very well. It was easy and uh, really fast to go through all the modules and see all the cell voltage. I will go through the numbers with you guys in a few minutes here, but first I will connect everything and get the lid back on to this. So I don't have any unnecessary moisture inside of it.
Then it's time to turn on the battery power again. And as you can see, we don't have any power right now. So I will first turn on the breakers to my battery. And then I will just, now you can see the battery voltage. No, I just will long press the enter button here and switch on the device again. And now it will do its countdown and precharge everything. And now you will hear some relays clicking. And we are back to battery power. Great! That worked very well, so here are the numbers for all the modules and all the cells. All right, there you had all the numbers for my whole battery, 108 cells. And as you could see, it is in pretty good balance so far. I have now used this battery for five months and uh, I think I have, have cycled it for maybe 60 times or something. And the biggest difference between the highest and the lowest cell in the whole battery is only 11 millivolts. So that's pretty good so no need to do any balancing at this moment at least all right guys that will be everything for today so uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and then i see you next time thank you goodbye <laughs>